hello friends today in this tutorial i will be showing you the example between query selector versus query selector all methods in javascript so as you know that these are all the dom methods dom manipulation methods so you can see there are various code snippets i will show you inside javascript how to deal with these methods so you can see we will be selecting multiple elements i will be showing you how to do this so this is query selector versus query selector all so let me just begin this tutorial so you will need a code editor i am using visual studio code editor so just make an index.html file and just start coding here right with me so if you want all these code snippets you can go to the video description go to my blog post and copy paste all the source code if you need it so you will see we will see difference between we will see two methods which are query selector which is used to select singular elements and its counterpart which is query selector all so by the name itself all is mentioned here because it is used to select multiple elements so by the way query selector is a more advanced option if you want to select elements inside your dom so let me just show you a very basic example here so this is our html template so we will get a title query selector and query selector all so query selector is the advanced version of document dot get element by id so let's suppose if you have an element and i need to give it an id of unique id which is let's suppose id so this is a paragraph let me just say this is a paragraph you can have any element on your page here and here if i write the javascript so if i want to select this element in the basic convention what we use the method here we will make a variable and we use this method document.getElementById but uh, this is a very old method and many developers don't use this so it is document.getElementById so here you will be only be getting elements through their id so we need to mention id but if i let's suppose if i have a class here I cannot use this method which is get element by id because it will only get the elements through the id name so we need to change this convention so for this uh, we are using query selector so query selector is a better option with the uh, document or get element by id so we write here query selector so this is used to select singular element here so here you can mention either id or class as well so first of all let me mention the id here so i will say paragraph which has a got a id of uh, id so this is id symbol as you know this hash symbol so we have mentioned here paragraph which has got this id of id so you can change this id to anything let's suppose i change this to unique so i can just change this to unique so after selecting this element i can do anything with it i can say element dot i can change the background color like this background color to i can change this to red so if i open this with the live server so you will see the paragraph background color will change here i can manipulate any css property that i want here i can also change its text color also and uh, let's suppose i change this to blue and also i change its uh, background color once again to yellow so you will see now the yellow color will change here uh, i think we need to change this is a property i think color in order to change the text color so you will see it has changed to blue here so i can change any property of it i can manipulate any css property which is a valid css property i can change the font size as well to let's suppose uh, 48 pixel so you will see it will change this property so this is a nice approach by which if you want to work with singular element here because we have a single element here so we can use query selector here we can pass the id which is mentioned here so let's suppose we are not using id here we are using a class we can also assign a class as well so which is let's suppose a paragraph we have attached a paragraph class so now to select this what we can do is that we can replace it by dot p dot and the class name which is paragraph p means the element and then followed by the class name 
p dot dot is for the classes and then followed by the class name which is paragraph if you refresh here nothing will happen here all will remain the same because the code is correct so we are selecting now with the class name beforehand we will selecting it by the id because we need to replace it by hash symbol and then the id name so in this case which is unique so this is as simple as that so you can see nothing will happen so this is correct code so now guys what we need to do is that we need to select multiple elements in that case let's suppose we have uh, i can replace this we have uh, let's suppose i take the classes example so paragraph 1 I have the same classes paragraph 1 repeating here you can see this is paragraph 1 this is paragraph 2 uh, this is paragraph 3 so you can see we have four paragraphs and each paragraph has a sim, uh, same class here which is which is attached to it let me change this to paragraph so now in order to select these uh, multiple elements what we can do is that if i change this code if i see document.query selector if i pass this class here p dot for class here and paragraph if i change this code to this what will happen here is that if i refresh here you can see only the first element is changed you can see this is paragraph 1 rest of the elements are not styled here because uh, by default it will only uh, meet the first requirement it will only select the first element which is mentioned in the condition here so it is telling you to select all the elements which are present on the dom which has a class or paragraph so it will only select the first element it will ignore the rest of the elements so this is a dis dis disadvantage of using query selector so if you want to select multiple elements you need to be changing your method call to query select query selector all so this is another method which is available to select uh, multiple elements at one time so the condition will remain the same which is p dot paragraph so here we are selecting all the paragraphs which are having the class of paragraph so now we need to modify the code somewhat we need to use a for loop so now what we can do is that we can alert the statement out element dot length so here we can find out the number of elements which are selected by this condition so there is a length property which is there we can print out so you will see this is comes out to be four here because four elements are present here which are getting the classes of paragraph if i increase it to five you will see the number will increase to five so let me change this to paragraph five so you will see this is a length property which which will change if i reload the page it will be five here so now we can run we know the number of elements so now this is very easy we can shift this code inside a for loop so we can say where i is equal to zero i less than uh, element length i plus plus simple for loop not a very complex condition and now what we can do is that we can move this code that we have written inside this for condition that's it and also i can delete this alert statement so what we can do is that we can replace this square brackets and replace it i just dynamically we are iterating through all the elements again i so this is mandatory to do because for each element we are repeating it for iteration and then we are increasing the value of i so now what will happen here if i refresh you will see all the elements will get styled here one by one so here we are using the loop here for iterating through multiple elements so it will get all the styles this is paragraph one paragraph two paragraph three four five so this is a very basic difference when it comes to using query selector and query selector all if you want to select multiple elements you will use this query selector all method just pass your condition and you can use this uh, method very conveniently in order to select multiple elements the other thing to kept in mind is guys i need to select uh, let's suppose i have a list element 
and inside this list con element we have uh, multiple paragraphs let's suppose I need to just show you one trick here what we can do so if I we have five paragraphs so let's suppose in the third and the fourth paragraph we have the classes which, which is attached to paragraphs in the third and the fourth so now to style only these two paragraphs which are there inside the list element what we can do is that we, we need to modify our code here so what we can do we can say document dot again we will use multi uh, query selector all because we need to select multiple elements and here we will say inside our condition we need to uh, find this these two elements only so we will say list element inside this we will say this arrow symbol we will go inside this list element by using this arrow symbol which is greater than sign and inside this we will say p paragraph which stands for and we will select dot and we will write paragraph that's it so this will only select these third and the fourth paragraph because it has having these classes attached to it which is paragraph so first of all it will go to the list element and then using this arrow symbol it will go into the in, go into these paragraphs and only select those paragraphs which are having this class attached to it so once again we will repeat the same process once again so if i refresh here now you will see the difference it will only style the third and the fourth paragraph so this is again a use case of using query selector all you can also nest down your elements as well and also you can select your elements so i can replace it by id as well let's suppose they are having id so in that case you just need to replace this dot with hash symbol that's it for for having id here again refresh nothing will happen or uh, the code is correct you can change your background color just to clarify to red so you will see so this is a very important use cases that i have illustrated to you the major differences between query selector and query selector all so if you like this videos guys then please hit the like button and also inside comment section tell me if you want these future videos as well so thanks for watching this video